Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby. Today I'm going to be talking about five different authors that you can read through Kindle Unlimited. These are going to be romance authors. You can read a variety of genres on Kindle Unlimited, but the biggest genre on there I would say is romance. A lot of indie romance authors uh, have their books available on Kindle Unlimited and I subscribe to it and love it and I think it's like $10 a month and for me it's worth it because I read a lot. Um, also, all of these probably are pretty cheap on Kindle if you would rather just purchase them. But yeah, I'm just going to list the five authors and kind of talk about some of their books and I will link these books down below. I'd love to hear your favorite Kindle Unlimited authors and let's get right into it. So the first author I have to talk about is probably my favorite and she is Candy Steiner. I have loved Candy Steiner's books for quite a few years back when I read some of the Palm South University books. And since then, I've read quite a few of her more hard-hitting romances, and I just love her romances. They are so good. What I really enjoy is The Wrong Game. This is a sports romance between a girl who just lost her husband, and she's trying to get back out there, and she has these season tickets for two people to the, the Chicago Bears, and she's going to take a new date to every game. The bartender at her favorite bar overhears her plan and wants her to take him to the first game and... After that, he wants to go to every game. So it is their romance, and this one's really cute and highly recommend this one. And then another one I love is a road trip book called On the Way to You. And this one follows a girl who is from a small town, and she meets a guy randomly in a diner, and they don't know each other, and they take a trip to Seattle together. And it is their romance, and it's a road trip book. This one is really good and also super emotional. Like I mentioned, there's the Palm South University books. I think they've all been re- published by a different name. Uh, the covers I know are different and they look better. And this is kind of like a gossip girl meets like Greek and it is about kids in college who are in sororities and fraternities. I remember it being super dramatic and really sexy so this one's also really good. And then another author I have to recommend is R.S. Gray. I've only read two R.S. Gray books and I enjoyed them both. The first one was Hot Shot Doc. This one is a hate to love romance between a doctor who is kind of an asshole and everyone hates him and then this really sweet girl who I think is a surgical assistant or physician's assistant and basically she ends up working with him and their banter is really cute and it's a really good hate to love romance. The other one I have to recommend is Arrogant Devil which is also a hate to love romance and it's about a woman who comes to work at this ranch and the guy who owns the ranch is kind of a jerk and it's just a hate to love romance. They turn into friends and turn into more and this one is also really good and I want to read more by her because I just think hers are really feel good books and they always make me laugh. The next one I have to recommend is Stacy Hart. She has quite a few series and standalones. One of the standalones I recommend is Too Little Too Late. This is about a girl who is a nanny or an au pair and she starts working for a single dad and it is their romance kind of taboo because he is the employer. And then she also has a series that's called the Austin series where each book is based off of a Jane Austen novel. I forget the first one's name, but I'll have it over here. And this is a friends to lovers. I think they are roommates and they're complete opposites and they form a romance. And then the other one I've read by her wasn't a favorite. It's like the Lipstick Coalition series. The first one is called Piece of Work and it's about an intern who starts working at an art gallery and she falls for her boss, but he's a total jerk and I really didn't like his character, but that one is on there as well and I really like the covers on this series, just have to say I love the animated covers. The next author I have to talk about is Brittany C. Cherry. I've read two of her books. I read her 2018 and 2019 releases. Her books are so hard hitting and really emotional. First one I read was Disgrace and this is about a girl who comes back to her hometown after getting divorced and she falls for the town's bad boy and he has had life really hard and no one likes him and their families are kind of pitted against each other and it's like a Romeo Juliet situation. And this one's super angsty and the bad boy and really emotional and love this one. And then more recently I read Eleanor and Grey which I've talked about several times. It is a second chance romance between Ellie and Grayson. They meet as teenagers and they are total opposites. She's a nerd, he's like the jock and they become best friends but life tears them apart. And now it's years later and they're brought back into each other's lives and this one just had me crying 
the whole time. So if you need a good cry, this one's really good. And the last author I have to talk about, I've only read one of her books, but it is available on Kindle Unlimited and it is Penelope Douglas. I Loved Birthday Girl, which is a forbidden romance. It is about a girl who moves in with her boyfriend and the boyfriend lives with his dad and she starts to develop feelings for her boyfriend's dad. So it is a taboo romance between her and her boyfriend's dad and it's also a slow burn romance. Really liked this one more than I expected and highly recommend it. So those are five Kindle Unlimited authors I highly recommend to you guys. I'd love to hear your guys' favorites, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.